Good morning. Welcome to Tuesday's Talk. So, inspiration for this Tuesday Talk, I was at the gym working out with my personal trainer, Gage Marks. And Gage said, why don't you talk about loose skin? I have a client who's lost some weight. She's got loose skin on her arms. And uh, he said, you know, I know it's not going to get better. Exercise won't make that better. And actually, for me personally, I've lost 80 pounds, maybe 85 pounds. And um, my prior trainer said, well, don't you think that loose skin is just going to tighten up? No. I know it's not going to tighten up. That's what I do for a living. So that misconception is fairly prevalent, even among exercise professionals, that if you exercise, you can tighten it up. Your belly skin is magically going to get tighter. Your neck is going to get tighter. Um, your breasts are going to lift. It doesn't happen. Why doesn't it happen? Because the skin's been stretched out and it's lost its elasticity. Signs of loss of elasticity may be things like stretch marks you might see, okay? And that tells you the skin's not springy or elastic enough because, see, if you take fat away by a variety of methods, liposuction, diet and exercise, bariatric surgery, post-pregnancy, if fat goes away and the skin's elastic enough, it's going to shrink up to the new you. That's what will happen in liposuction. But if the skin's not elastic enough, fat goes away, it doesn't shrink up. It hangs. It's thinner, right? But it hangs. And you've seen people on TV after, you know, whatever show, Biggest Loser or whatnot, they lost 150 pounds. And their issue is that they have that hanging skin. And sometimes that's frustrating. People work really hard. They lose weight. They're doing all the things to, to improve their lifestyle. And it's all very valuable. You're going to be healthier. But you may not like the way your body looks because of that. Okay. So why do people develop loose skin? Well, we already talked about one reason is weight loss. And, uh, you know, weight loss through diet and exercise requires that. It requires some, some sort of commitment on your part. Uh, whether you do it purely with diet and exercise, whether you use nutritional supplements or uh, diet aids, uh, or whether you have bariatric surgery. You know, those things are all tools to help you do what you need to do, but you still need to do it. Um, you know, bariatric surgery has been very popular, and here in Savannah, we are blessed to have two very good bariatric surgeons at, at Memorial, Dr. Oliver Ripple and Dr. Bobby Kelly, and they do a phenomenal job. But they do the surgery to give you the tool. If you don't do what they ask you to do, you won't lose the weight you're supposed to lose. You can defeat that tool. You have to use the tool just like anything else. Uh, other reasons people might have loose skin other than massive weight loss, genetically, um, there are um, some people who just skin stretches a little bit more. I've seen patients who are 18, 20 years old and have sagging breasts and never had children. Um, there are inherited disorders that cause your skin to be less elastic. And then probably the most common is pregnancy, right? Pregnancy stretches out the skin. That's part of what happens in pregnancy. Skin gets stretched out. And even though you lose the weight, you don't look like you did before pregnancy. The muscles get spread apart during pregnancy and they don't come back always in the middle. So there's a little bit of hanging in the belly itself because of the stretching in the muscles and the skin. Okay? And do stretch marks go away? No. Can we cut them away with surgeries? Yes. Do we typically get them all gone? No. All right. So lack of elasticity uh, just simply doesn't go away and doesn't get better with exercising. Now, today's talk is going to be, a, I think, a springboard to talk about other things related to this um, and delve into those issues more specifically. We already talked about some of that, which is uh, surgery on the belly, tummy tucks of different varieties, um, breast lifting surgery, okay, com that's a common mommy makeover, tummy and breast, um, arm lifts, thigh lifts, facelifts and neck lifts. Those are things that people tend to see after they lose weight. Do they tend to see all of those? No. Most people who've lost a lot of weight might have a problem area. For example, my arms and thighs aren't so bad, but my belly and my neck are. Or, boy, I lost the weight in my face and my face and neck looks pretty good, but my breasts are sagging or my belly's sagging. So, you no, know, it's not usual that everybody has all those issues, but we're going to talk about those in the next upcoming talks. Thank you.